Welcome to the 10th video in the LaTeX Tutorials, a comprehensive series. Now we are moving toward section 3.4 which is numbered or bulleted lists. Okay, let me do the bulleted or the number list in this section. So first we need how to do these things. For producing a number list, the items starting with slash item are to be enclosed in begin enumerate and n enumerate. The replacement enumerate by itemize will produce bulleted list. So if we want to have counting like 1, 2, 3 or Roman 1, 2, 3, then we will have to use the begin enumerate command and n enumerate command. If we want just to use bullets, then we will write itemize. Subcategory is automatically introduces the commands are entered. An optional number or bullet can be predefined in the square bracket slash item like this. So this thing to be optional. So let's say we are starting very fast with the enumeration so slash begin and now in begin I am just moving to enumerate this is begin enumerate in enumerate and slash item will come automatically with it let's say the very first thing I write this is one then again slash item and two again slash item and three so now we will build our document and here we see that it has produced one two three now in this one if for example i want to produce in one two subcategories are two itemization or to enumerate two further categories in this one let's say i write again slash begin and another enumerate i start here and now here i write one dash one and then big slash item and two and now I build this and you can see that is this one started in the item 1 so in item 1 there are now two here A and B it is given by itself 1 2 and this even in further I can do here enumeration if I want so it will give by itself like I write again begin enumerate begin enumerate so let's say there is only one and which I will call one 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 let's say for example and I just build this so we see here that one inside one we are having further a and b and inside a we are having one here one 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 so this is the way to do enumeration now if for example i want to do the same thing i want to do the same thing but this time i want to do this thing by bulleted enumeration means you do the bulleted numbering so let's start backslash and begin and this time instead of enumerate we will go to itemize and begin itemize so in itemize will come automatically and here I write item 1 1 and then slash item two then slash item 
3 and now I build this and you see here it has started with the bullets 1 2 and 3 so is 1 is here and 2 3 here so I can just write here slash new page means I just go to a new page in order to show you clearly and here it is so one two three now it is rather uh, very important to understand this thing let's say this time we are um, introducing inside to some different numberings so we can copy like this so it is not associated means inside this i copied that one and i say begin itemize and then itemize come automatically and here i just paste that thing two two and i built so for that one it is not uh, necessary we did this item is different from this item items are the same only the command enumerate and itemize are different so it is giving like this now even for example if over here this is itemize begin itemize and n itemize if i convert this thing into enumerate and i just you can see click here then the begin enumerate i change and in text studio it will automatically change the end as well so that they can comply with each other this thing is not possible in tick maker so just build it and you see it has changed it to one if i include another slash item then it is let's say two three and it will make like that and two which is the itemized we are having the enumerated subcategories as well so this way we can generate bulleted or itemized list let's say another thing if we go with some option and the option is like this as we discussed here that an optional number or bullet can be predefined in the square brackets so as i write item let's say slash begin and let's say i go with the enumerate and in front of this one i just mark the square bracket and i write let's say one and in this one i just write that it's a plus symbol and i build it you see it has started with this one plus one now this is something means enumerate is actually doing the thing with one two three but i suppress this thing by giving it an option that it should be like this now even if you do itemize here if you do itemize and the end is also becoming itemize and i build this thing it will remain the same so whether it is enumerate or itemize here this option is actually covering those categories that whatever you define here let's say i define here that it will be q then it will have q here so i can write anything here and it will just enumerate or itemize like this p1 so i hope you have understood all this thing thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video